We'll help you find your happily ever after today on The Express. You meet on today's your show. Prince, a charming prince. Cinderella on stage at Capilano University. Be Celebrating Nehru's Iranian New Year. We select 20 models to take part in a series of training. The ITM model search. They get to work with the best directors, photographers, designers, makeup artists. The art of business in the eyes of an 11 year old. Make 75 cents off a dozen, and then they were willing to pay $4, so I'd make a dollar off it. See that and more local expression. Thank you, President of the African Union. Zimbabwe would like a more peaceful world. Welcome to The Express. I'm Johanna Ward at Capilano University. This year, the musical theater program's year-end shebang is Cinderella. But before we get to that love story, it's a whole different kind of dream come true. ITM Model is holding their seventh annual model search, where schmizing is just the beginning. My name is Jessica Han. I'm from Richmond, BC. For 20 women in Metro Vancouver, it's a chance for an opportunity of a lifetime. Hi, my name is Nalani Wakita. I'm from Abbotsford, BC, and I'm number 15. This is our seventh annual event, and um, what happens is we select 20 models to take part in a series of training. So um, these models, they get to work with the best directors, photographers, designers, makeup artists, um, and after their six weeks of training, they'll compete at a finale show. The top prize is an all-expense paid trip to go to China to compete in China's largest and most prestigious model search. Number 19, Jessica! ITM has sent 19 models to compete in China to date. Jessica Han and Nalani Wakita qualified to go to China last year. Number 15, Nalani! Nalani. It was pretty intense actually, like the week was pretty long and we did many events and different things but I learned like a lot about just modeling in the industry and I think it really helped my career because now like I'm better at what I do. It was actually my really first time entering any modeling competition, experiencing this industry. And I think what ITM appealed to me is because they were providing all these professional you know, experiences to all these models, you know, photo shoots, meeting all these designers, everything. I think we'll, instead of like having the white background, we'll put them in a the little bit more different concept. I think it builds the confidence. This is not the industry that it's really um, kind to the people often, right? Uh, and more uh, direct and straightforward you are, I think it's uh, better for everybody because you're not uh, uh, wasting the time on the girls. I think it gave us a good, um, good idea of how the girls can act. You know? yeah. It's a great opportunity for every girl who has attention or who has the desire or who has the dreams to model to apply and to see where that leads her. I designed this dress with the inspiration of a uh, gold Ferrari. The ITM competition also gives models a chance to work with Just local designers. A little half an inch on each end. Here at the Art Institute, the models prepare for their final fittings. I think it's really cool because both designers and models are trying to like put themselves out there and we need like each other to just help out and just like show off what we can do. Like the little ruffle at the bottom that you put on there. If the ladies have one word of advice, it's to take it all in. I learned so much. Listen to what they have to say because they usually have pretty good things to say. And don't be late. <laughs> in Vancouver, I'm Melanie Panetta for The Express. It's not too late to enter the ITM model search. All you have to do is fill out an application and send in a photo. That's itmmodel.com. You can also watch for us, The Express, at the actual event. Now, the big event on today's show, Capilano University's most important musical theater production of the year, Cinderella, the Enchanted Edition. A lovely night, a lovely night, a finer night you know you'll never Prince, a charming prince, as charming as a prince will ever be. The big be. spring musical that we put on is really a fantastic way of showcasing the work that they have um, they have done over the last three years. In a hazy heaven, 
been a dream role since I was like eight and it's very exciting. Meet your prince, a charming prince, as charming as a prince will ever be. It's lots of fun and you definitely feel gorgeous. I mean the costumes are beautiful and um, everybody feels like royalty. As a musical it's fantastic you know because we're in fairy tale land, so what better way to treat a fairy tale than turning it into a musical? Goodbye, away you fly. This is a Rodgers and Hammerstein score, so Rodgers and Hammerstein is the classic of musical theater. It's definitely an acting challenge just to not fit into the classic ingenue fairy tale, so the acting challenge is definitely there and the dance quality is there as well. We first had our first dress rehearsal about three nights ago and a lot of the blocking got changed, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's so big that even if I'm on the wrong foot, you can't tell. <laughs> we are blessed to have a group of comedians in our midst and they have taken this music and they've taken these roles and they've really just run with them. You say goodbye away. Well, we've been in the program for three years and it's nice to finish it off with all of our friends and all of our colleagues and teachers. Um, it's a, a huge accomplishment and everybody's doing a really, really great job. Cinderella runs until March 26th here at Capilano University. Later on the show, Prince Charming is going to teach me how to waltz. Now, I don't know if that means love is in the air, but spring certainly is, and millions of Iranians around the world are celebrating Nowruz. Literally translated, it means new day. And we have a look at some tastes and traditions. <laughs> There's only one time of the year that will bring out Iranians of the Lower Mainland to celebrate, even in the rain. And that's Persian New Year, otherwise known as Nowruz. It all begins with Charshambasuri, or Red Wednesday. Held last week, Charshambasuri is the first event leading up to Nowruz. It's always held outdoors, in this case, Ambleside Park in West Vancouver. It's something that we look forward to and we've been privileged and uh, had great pleasure in hosting the Persian, the Iranian Persian New Year now, I think for about five or six years uh, and it's always been so successful and it's just lovely having so many people here at one time. We have a wonderful ethnic uh, diversity and of course the Iranian people are a very large component. And along with the dancing and playing music, there's one important aspect of this special night. Now an integral part of Charsham Basuri is jumping over fires. Iranian people do this to get rid of all the bad energy and omens from the year previous as they celebrate the Nowruz. Barad and me are going to be jumping over the fires. Are you ready, Barad? Yeah, let's get to position. One, two, three. Now we can't forget about the food. Nowruz is a time of year where Iranians feast day and night. At Charshambasuri, Iranian restaurant Kasba was on hand to keep everyone happy and full. Yeah, when we know that when lots of people coming over here, they need some something to eat and have fun. So we provided them like kebabs and Persian soup, Persian kebab and tea and drink. <laughs> It's our first experience out of the restaurant, so we want to try it to help our community. But what signifies the coming of Nowruz more than anything is what's at home on the tables of Iranian families. To celebrate the coming of Nowruz, Iranian families all over the world put together a traditional table setting called the half scene or the seven S's. Each item in the half scene starts with the sound scene or S in the Persian alphabet. Now the items symbolically correspond to the seven creations and the holy immortals that protect them. The half scene has evolved over time but has kept its original symbolism. Let's see what each item means. The first item is sabze or wheatgrass which symbolizes rebirth. The next item is Samanu, a sweet pudding made from wheat germ that symbolizes affluence. 
Next, we have Senjet, a dried oleaster fruit that symbolizes love. After that, we have Seer, which is garlic, which symbolizes medicine and health. Next, we have Seep, which means apple, symbolizing beauty and health. Next, we have Sonar, a dried herb from a fruit that grows in Iran, symbolizing the color of sunrise. Lastly, the final S in the half scene is Serke, which means vinegar, symbolizing old age and patience. The half scene, Charcham Basuri, and the festive spirit are what make Noruz so special for Iranians, including myself. I'm Mana Mansour in Vancouver for The Express. Nauru's celebrations last about two weeks and end with a big outdoor picnic with friends and family. So to everybody out there, especially our Iranian viewers, Nauru's Mobarak. You're watching The Express, and we're going to show you how fantasy becomes reality up next. After the break, this young man is on his way to the UN. Thank you, President of the African Union. Zimbabwe would like a more peaceful world. I get to dance with Prince Charming. <laughs> You're so tall, Prince Charming. You're watching local TV on The Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by... The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.